If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. This is an old African proverb. And if you want to go far as a team, Microsoft have a tool for you in Office 365. This is a communication and collaboration hub. Microsoft Teams brings together in a single pane of glass multiple technologies that really form the cornerstone for communication and collaborating within an organization. So when we look at Microsoft Teams, what we get is a user interface that allows us to communicate. We have a persistent based chat system. What that means is your conversations continue, have a history, so all people within the team know what's been going on and can make better decisions about the future. We have a place where we can collaborate together and this brings the technologies that some of us have known and loved for years on SharePoint Online into a new interface, allowing us to co-author on documents. Lastly, it's about security, knowing that your information is on a cloud environment that meets all the compliance and complexity requirements of your organization. The way we are working has changed. 45% of us use social applications to do our job every day. So as organizations, we need to be able to provide additional applications that will allow our users to maintain productivity. I want to introduce you to this concept of inner and outer loops. So an outer loop will be everybody within the organization. That would be some type of broadcast about the Christmas party, about a particular morning tea that we're having. That is a broadcast modality of communication. Then we've got the concept of inner loops. So an inner loop is a, is a tight knit group of people that work very closely together, collaborating on files, communicating several times a day, having lots of meetings, online meetings. So it's the inner loops. That's the niche for Microsoft Teams. Those inner loops of tight knit people. When it comes to outer loops, larger people broadcasting throughout my organization, we would look at tools like Yammer. SharePoint as an intranet portal would be ideal for that type of scenario. Another feature that we can look forward to seeing is multi-window support. Multi-window support means that in an environment where I could have a chat session on the go and I could have a video conference on the go, I have the ability to right click and pop the video conference out into a separate window, separate from the rest of my team's communication and collaboration. We can also look forward to much tighter integration with Outlook. As I said, Outlook is the primary communication and collaboration tool for most organizations. And when Outlook and Teams are closely integrated, as emails arrive in Outlook, I could send them directly to Teams. And as comments are made in Teams, I can push those back to Outlook. The video and telephony roadmap within Teams is amazing. What we're gonna see over the next few months is some of the features that you may have been using with Skype for Business. Integration with your PSDN, your public switch telephone network. Integration with your PBX, your private branch exchange. Interoperability with third-party conferencing solutions that are currently in your boardrooms or your meeting rooms. Do not roll out Teams without prescriptive guidance. Otherwise, it can just go viral within your organization. Decide which teams you need and who is allowed to create teams.